Alright, what's up everybody? A little bit late. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Hold on a second. Uh, yeah, there is like a 10 second downtime for comments. That's just, yeah, partly why I kind of wanted to uh, put the comments up on the screen so you guys can see what I see. I'm not that late, am I? I didn't think so. I'm like all out of breath from running to my desk. So I prepared some stuff for us today. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, yeah. You got an interview at Bard? Nice, man. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. So, guys, I I prepared for the stream today. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm a little late. Oh, I forgot to do my thing. Hold on. Uh, oh, and I got to turn on my light. Oh, my gosh. Uh Oh, by the way, guys, it's the 100th stream this year. This is our 100th stream this year. Isn't that crazy? Insane. 100 streams. That's 100 plus hours of SHSAT study content. People are always like, oh, there's not enough study material for people. Well, 100 hours. What is that shadow coming from? Oh, I see. Sorry, dudes. Normally, <laughs> normally this is already done, but I didn't have time. Uh, everything on the SHSAT? Yeah, we can do that today. Um, all right, dude. Look at that. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Super appreciate that. Thanks, Zhao. Yeah. Yeah, you probably have, April. That means 70 hours of prep. Yeah. Or like 90, yeah, with the super streams and stuff. Yep, that's true. That's exactly true, Wiz. So yeah, dude, you guys have been studying for sure. <laughs> we will review everything on the SHSAT, Jason. Don't even trip. Every single thing. <laughs> 10 hour stream today. No. <laughs> no way. Uh... Yeah, I'm doing harder topics. Why? To get you guys ready. All right, so that's enough of this. Yeah, so yeah, so my problems are generally slightly harder than what you'll see elsewhere. But that's just because I wanna make sure that you guys are like rock stars. You know what I mean? Like I wanna make sure that you guys, if you see a really hard problem, you're not like freaking out. If you see a hard problem, you can like relax and not freak out. Yeah, that's probably good, Cade. <laughs> four questions, at Crunchy, we do more than four questions, bro. A stream. We, even yesterday when we didn't do that many questions, we did it like eight or nine questions. Um, will there be ELA today? Yes, there will be, Shaw. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Yes. I actually do have a speed run of this most recent handbook, um, but I don't want to post it. <laughs> so I made it when the test came out, I made it because I knew I'd be going through the test anyways. Um, but I just, yeah. Okay, cool. So yes, I do have ELA for us to work on today. Um, I didn't get a chance to really proofread it, <laughs> but I think it'll be good. Um, so yeah, dudes, you guys have a test really, really soon coming up. So I just uh, wanted to remind you guys just to, to do your best just to stay relaxed and just kind of like chill. You do some age game problems and maybe later in the stream once we get into math. Uh, dude, I'm hesitant to upload that speed run. It's sitting on my phone. <laughs> maybe I'll make it a private video. Four plus one sixth days in a hundred streams huh uh <laughs> maybe there's so many grammatical errors yeah 
how to stay positive when you're given a textbook of homework. Positivity is not a situation. Positivity is an attitude. So it doesn't matter what your situation is. You either have a positive attitude about it or you allow yourself to be negative. Yeah. You couldn't even tell this was the live stream? Oh, well, what's up, Poke? Um, yeah, so dude, I might post my speed run through of the test. I might not. I probably won't, but maybe we'll see. But speaking of C, let's get into the uh, ELA that I pulled up. Yeah. All right. So check this out, guys. So on Monday, we worked on a narrative passage. The week before that, we were working on grammar. Now we're going to be working on a type of passage that's becoming more rare as the years go on, but you still might be able to find one of these or two of these in your actual test. 100 hours, four and a half days, four and a sixth days. Wow. I might do a slightly longer stream today. Um, I don't know how long, though. Okay. So let's get into it. Uh, yeah, let's get into it. So here's the passage. Boom. <laughs> might be a typo or two, but for the most part, that's the passage. All right, dudes, so I'm going to put on some like elevator music and I'm going to give you guys about four minutes to read this passage. You're going to get about four minutes. So let's go. Uh, this passage is not directly from the SAT, no, but it's, I use the same study that that SAT used, but this is not from that. Uh, no, this is not prominent. This is not an SAT passage. This is slightly different, but I use the same survey that they used, the American Association for the Advancement of Science survey. Guys, about three minutes. Okay, thanks for telling me you're done, Zhao. If you guys are done, just say done in the chat. Yeah, Jupiter, for sure. See you, Ranger. I would say about four minutes, Venus, four to five minutes. You guys have about two minutes left on this one. Okay, some people are getting done reading. All right. About another minute and a half, guys. like you guys are pretty much finished reading this I'll give you guys 30 more seconds So here we go. Here is the first question. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is the first question, guys. What type of flower do bees visit? Or I'm sorry, hold on, let me change this. Do bees not visit? Um, oh, what is not a type of flower bees visit. Okay, that's actually fine. What is not a type of flower bees visit? I just finished making these questions. That's why I'm like, 
<laughs> All right, so first question. Now with no more typos. Okay. What type of flower, what, what is not a type of flower? Bees visit. Do bees visits. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're getting some answers in here. Okay. Oh, guys, also throw your answers in the poll in the uh, upper right corner of the screen, like right there, there should be an eye icon. Go ahead, click that and throw your answer into the poll. All right, so we got some answers coming in. I'll give you guys like 15 more seconds with this one. These informational ones are great because you can always just go back and look real quick. All right, uh, the narrative ones, not so much. The narrative one, a little bit harder. Okay, let's do number two. Okay, question number two. According to the research conducted by the American Association for the Advancement of Science, which practice in commercialized beehives, let me get this out of the way, which practice in commercialized beehives will most likely discontinue? Uh, potentially, we'll talk about that, Tejas. We will talk about that. Okay. So people are putting their answer for number two. Go ahead, throw it up into the poll, guys. All the informational passages of the handbook don't have fact questions. Uh, yeah, that's that's very true. They are leaning away from it, but I want to make sure that we hit one that's a little bit more complex, just so that you guys are not um, totally thrown off. Okay, we got some answers for this one. Okay, and we, we will go over all of these, of course, so. Okay, cool. So let's head to number three. All right, so here is question number three. The author's tone is most likely. I guess I can turn the chat back on. Okay, so we've got some answers coming in for this one. Don't forget to throw them into the poll. Yeah, that's... Yep, totally April. And that was what was Monday's uh, passage was mostly like, yeah. Uh, I am disappearing Friday night and you guys won't see me for like a month <laughs> or at least a week. All right, so this is question three. Okay, a lot of answers coming in. Okay. All right, chill. So now let's move to question number four. Oh my gosh. Hold on. We're having, we're having some issues here. Hold on. Okay. All right, cool. So here is question number four. Colony class collapse disorder is most likely caused by. Yeah, I'm doing a stream on Friday, Ricky, for sure. Dude, thanks, an ornament being. Yeah, if it's blurry, it'll clear up. Just wait for the quality to come back. Yeah, I'm, dude, I'm definitely not going to do a stream on Saturday. Okay, we're, so we're getting some answers in here.
Dude. Okay. All right, cool. Good. Cool. Throw your answers into the chat. Throw them up into the poll as well. And guys, finally, question number five. Why did the American Association for the Advancement of Science give one set of hives? No pyrethroids. <laughs> okay. All right, let's get it. So people are taking the test on Wednesday? What? Okay. So people are coming into their answer with this? Okay. Dude, this? This is why they don't do informational passages as much as they used to. I feel like you guys are absolutely destroying this passage. I've seen a lot of really good answers here. Yeah. Okay. Really nice, guys. Really nice. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. So let's go through the previous uh, questions and let's talk about the answers. Let's see if you guys got them all right or if you got them all wrong, <laughs> if you regret everything, um, if you regret nothing, that also could be a result of this. Um, okay, cool. So let's go into this first question. What? Uh, let me actually duplicate this so I can delete some stuff. Um, all right, that's lovely. Hold on. My computer is... Is, is dying. <laughs> okay, great. All right, cool. So what is not a type of flower bees visit? Now, I, people were saying that these perithriums are not flowers, um, but you could argue that they are because what it says in the passage is that, um, that these flowers are a group of flowering plants commonly commonly referred to as perithiums so that that is the name of the group that all of these plants belong to so that's why that's actually okay this pyrethroid one is the the issue because that's a synthetic version of it so it's not an actual plant it's like a, a one made in the laboratory or like whatever you know what i mean whoops um so yeah that's how this first one goes down this first answer is d okay number two um, I just erased number two, but that's fine. Which practice in commercialized beehives will most likely discontinue? Uh, so their problem was that when they mixed the pyrethroids with the bee food, they had a problem with giving the bees the perfect amount of pyrethroid. So yes, that will most likely discontinue. They most likely will stop mixing this pyrethroid into the bee food right um they probably still will give the bees the pyrethroids because they have to so the bees don't die they probably will still monitor the bees nutritional intake because that's you know part of their job as running beehives and yeah they're not going to close them down um so yeah the answer for this one is a cool uh no, so far so good zao nice bro nice yeah, I think you guys are doing really good on this. I just wanted to do an informational passage. I didn't realize. What? Oh, oh, I see, I see. Okay, yeah, that's that's why. All right, number three, uh, the author's tone. Uh, some people were putting admiration, and I get it because he is talking in like a, wow, I can't believe, you know, we figured this out type thing. But dudes, the answer for this one is informative. He's informing the people what happened. Now, he's not talking about how like great it is that the bees are doing this or how excellent the science experiment was. He doesn't use a lot of glowing terms. He seems a little cold. He seems to be referencing experiments. So yeah, that's the answer. Um, C, informational. Number four. Colony collapse disorder is most likely caused by. Now, this one is a little tough. I know a lot of people put this Vera destructor, these Varroa mites, mites, but let's go into the passage where it talks about it. 
Well, it talks about it right here, leading to colony collapse disorder. So going back into the passage and finding it, we can see what leads to it. It's when the bees are too sick to work. When do they get too sick? When they have an infection. What does the infection come from? This viral infection here. So the answer for this one is going to be viral infection. The mites are a problem, but it doesn't talk about colony collapse disorder in reference to the mites. It does it in reference to the viral infection. And the last one here. Uh, I think we're going to do poems tomorrow or the day after. I don't know. Why did the American Association for Advancement of Science? Yeah, this is, if you know how experiments work, that's called a control and it's called a variable. So they need to see just how the bees do on their own with no pyrethroids so they can compare how they do when they offer them pyrethroids. So yeah, the answer for number five is D. Yeah, that's the answer for Number five, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, dudes. So that was the ELA that I had for us today. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you guys do? Five out of five? Dude, I knew you guys crushed this. I knew you guys crushed this. I was like, as I was making it, I was like, oh, it's just too easy. And it was. You guys absolutely annihilated this <laughs> improvement 100 <laughs> that's funny good job huh nice rizzy dude good job zao yeah tages yeah yeah oh you got blocked by the filter dang i have it now so i can keep the filter so that i can stay monetized <laughs> dude the filter i have is so insane i just looked at some of the keywords they blocked it's like everything now don't test it don't 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 ruin don't ruin it <laughs> Too easy, Cheetah? Yeah. Dude, a lot of 5 out of 5. Dude, Zao got 6 out of 5. You guys need to step up your game. If you only got 5 out of 5, Zao got 6 out of 5. 3 out of 5 because you were late? Don't be late to your SHSAT date. Yeah. Um, uh, okay, so that's a good question, Ali. Technically 47. So they take 10 questions from each section and throw them away immediately. So it's you can't really know which one is a throwaway question, so you have to treat them all seriously. But yeah, they get rid of 10 of them right off the bat. So it will technically be out of 47. Dude, Ming got seven out of five? Bros, you guys missed 100 out of five. <laughs> Yeah, let's do some math, Anisha. We can do math, Ma. It just all depends. It just all depends. Um, oh, the chat stopped? Oh, it's still good. Yeah, it just, it just had a little bit of a froze. Yeah. Are field cues hard or easy? You can't tell, actually. There's no way to know if what you're doing is a field test question or if it's a normal question. There's no way to know. Sometimes, and this is my personal thought on it, I don't, I don't like have an in with Pearson's to know this, but my thought is that yes, they're definitely going to get rid of some problems that were way too hard, but they're also going to get rid of questions that are way too easy. You know what I'm saying? because they don't want everybody to get a perfect score. So if there's 10 questions that are mad easy and everybody got them right, they might get rid of them. So that's what I'm saying. Like, just because it's a hard question doesn't mean it's a field test question. Yeah. Time management, Jay. Just keep scooting, dude. And pick the sentence, pick the section that you want to crush and do it first. So if it's math, flip to the math section right away and then do that to make sure that you get a real nice score on your best section. Yeah. Okay, you got infinity out of five for him? Wow. Can we do quadratic? Uh, maybe. Um, X in term of Y questions? Yes, we can. Let's do that, actually. Dude, I'm running out of paper. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. Uh, all right, so just give me a second. Let me, let me turn this music down. Uh, so just give me a second. Let me pull up a question. I'm really quick here. Uh, 
what would that be? That could be like a... Uh, Okay, cool. So here is an example of a question that you guys might get. Uh, Jason, when you <laughs> say a review of everything, <laughs> dude, that's like so many things, dude. Oh, it says the field test questions are pre-selected. Uh, okay, I mean, I guess. I have a feeling they're not though. That's just, that's just me. Uh, can we do a review? Yeah, we're probably gonna do like a big review on Friday. Um, but yeah. Oh, what's up, Laurel? All right, cool. So let's get this. So here's the first math question of the day. Let's go. We got a minute and a half, guys. 3B plus one half times the quantity of 8A plus four equals 4A. What is B in terms of A? Yeah, is Minty alive? For real, I've not seen that dude. Is Sunday harder? It depends. Last year I felt like it was, but who knows this year? <laughs> yeah. What if the X and Y are both exponents? What do you mean, Venna? Dude, Minty, what's up, dude? Uh, you can score pretty high into the 300s on each section. Rogers. All right, guys, about 30 more seconds, maybe a minute longer on this one. Okay, so we have B equals negative 2 over 3. Um, was that Tejas? No, that was Pew. Pew, negative 3, that's Monster. Zedon. Leo, Dan's, Dan's got the same thing. A minus two over three, and that's Ethan. Uh, positive two thirds on Venna. Dude, I'm glad we're going over this. Negative four thirds, is that crunchy? Yeah. All right, guys, about 15 more seconds. Kush, Ma, Bing. Ooh, crunchy animation. Okay. The question's broken? Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so that's two minutes. All right, dudes. So a lot of you guys were trying to solve for B, as if B was a number. But when we have two variables, in order to solve it, we need two equations, and we don't have two equations. So let's look at the terminology right here. Because this is actually, this is like, we're talking about what will be on your test. This has a super high probability of being on your test, at least one question. Um, at most, probably one question. But they featured this in a lot of handbooks. Um, oh, Venna, you wrote negative? That's my bad. We'll have two answers here. Uh, Anisha got it too. Ghost, all right, I got to catch up with the chat a little bit. Hold up. Ghost, Tina, uh, Wiz, I see you, Wiz. Uh, Ramisa, what'd you put for your answer? I don't see it. Uh, miscellaneous. Ah, dude, you did retract before I could see Tages. Yeah, I got you, Venna, for the negative two thirds. Yeah. 
Oh, I didn't. All right, April, I got you. So we're going to talk about how this equation is not necessarily broken. It's just different than most of the equations you're used to seeing. So notice, what is B? What is B? Remember what is is in words to algebra. That's equal sign. So what is B? What equals B? in terms of A. So if I said, I wanted you to explain to me how parades work in terms of verbs, you could do that. You would say marching, singing, dancing, um, driving. If I said, I wanted you to explain what dinner is to me in terms of ingredients, you would list the ingredients you made. You'd say pepper, jalapeno, um, sausages, bread, you'd list the ingredients. So when they say in terms of A, they want us to describe a singular B using terms that have A in them. So we're trying to solve for just one B. That's what we're trying to get. So let's get to it. We have 3B plus, and I'm going to distribute this one half. So that would be 4A plus 2, because 1 half times 8 is 4A, 1 half times 4 is 2. Okay, and that equals 4A. Lovely. Oh my god, do the chat. Yay. Dude, this is so good. Okay, good. So it's, we're going to subtract 4a from each side, 3b plus 2 equals 0a, so we can get rid of it. Um, lovely, b equals, or 3b equals negative 2, b equals negative 2 over 3. I did not realize the a's canceled out, but they do, and the chat is smart. Okay, so let's do a harder one like this and let's see if i can get you guys to uh if i can mess you guys up basically hold on let me make sure that this is right because i don't want to give you another problem that's a little, little whack i want to make sure that, that it's it's noise um let me see here dude i gotta get a new computer it's gotta happen um okay so there's that all right, it's, it's getting pulled up. Just hold on one minute. All right, there's that. Okay. Oh my gosh. Are you for real? Hold on. There it is. Okay, nope, there it is. All right. Let me find this problem. I'm gonna make sure it's a good one for you guys. Um, one second. Um, I cannot find it. Is it in the finesse section? It might be in my finesse section. Hold on. I probably should put on some other video music or background music, but it's okay. You guys will get it. All right. I don't actually, I cannot find it. So I'm gonna have to make one up really quick. So just stick with me for one second. Yeah, it's not here. Dang it. All right. All right. Hold on one second. So it'd be. So Okay, yes. All right, so I think this is it. So it'd be. Um, hold on. So. Um. Hmm. 
Hmm. I want to make this hard, but I'm like coming up against a problem. Check my email. Okay, I'll check my email, dude. No problem. All right, so it's not in the finesse section. I I just remember because it's a good problem, and they might do something like this again this year. Ah, found it. Finally. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. So here is the question, guys. Finally. All right. So here we go. I'll give you guys two minutes for this. Sorry for the wait on that. I mean, I'm not really that sorry, but I think this question's worth it. So A equals B over C plus B. What is B in terms of A and C? Is 47 out of 47, 400 score or 350? It'll be closer to 350, unorthodox. Ghost Asphalt thinks it's C. Nice, dude. Uh, are these zeros? Why not 400? Uh, because this year they changed it. Yeah, Poke, Poke is right. Ooh, a lot of different answers here. What is B in terms of A and C? So guys, solve for B. Isolate the B. That's all I'm going to say. So people are getting zeros. Okay, so Pew's got a pretty decent answer here. AC over 1 minus A. That's Pew. A lot of people are getting zero, so I'll put it down. Ming, Laurel, uh, AC over one minus A. Who is that? Cubing. Got you, bro. What's up, man? Uh, Ma. Uh, there isn't a solution, so it's zero. There is not te technically, quote, quote, a solution. Negative AC over A minus one. Okay, negative AC over A minus one. And that's Zhao. Nice. Um, negative C over A minus 1. Who is that? Remis, oh wait. That's crunchy. Negative C over negative 1 plus A, and that's crunchy. Uh, April got 0. Okay, Nahar got 0. Okay, word. Dude, yeah, I, I don't know how you got 0 either, but we'll play it on. So, Zhao, I got your answer, bro. C minus A over B, that was Ayad. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, all right, so let's go over it. This obviously was way too much time already, but we'll talk about it, so let's get into it. So again, what I'm saying with this is what is B? We need to solve for a singular B. Okay, that's how this problem goes down. So we have to solve for just one B. Isolate the B. Okay, Ramisa, I got you. You have a bet to make with me? Okay, April, I'm down with that. Anisha got Anisha got this. A over C, Chan. A over C, and that's Chan. All right, so a lot of different answers here, dude. Zeden, what'd you get, Zeden? Don't ignore. I got you, Anisha. Where are you? Right there. I got you. Uh, Ramisa, got you too. Right here. All right. So let's get it. I don't miss you. Zeden, <laughs> what you get, Zeden? There's a, there's a lot of people. I can't. I'm <laughs> so sorry. I, I can't get everybody. Um, <laughs> okay. Negative CA over 1 minus A. Um, so that's Anisha got you. B equals negative C. Lin got negative C A. So this is Lin up here too. Um, okay, cool. So let's go into this. Tay just got A minus one. All right. Zeden got AC over negative A. Wow, a lot of different answers. This would this would actually reduce Zeden. 
for sure. All right, so guys, we have to get we have to <laughs> we have to move on. Uh, but dude, I appreciate everybody coming out to the stream. So that's what's up. Don't forget to smash that like button if you love the nerves that the SHSAT is is bringing you. All right, so let's go through how to do this, guys. Um, algebra. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna quote quote cross multiply, or we're just going to multiply both sides by the value of c plus b. I'm gonna do that on this side and I'm gonna do it on this side. The reason why I do it is because then that cancels out and now we have a pretty decent equation to work with. Cool, so we're here, we have this. So we're going to distribute that A to the parentheses. So keep in mind, we're trying to solve for just B. So what we're going to do is we're going to swing this AB over the other side. I'm going to subtract AP from each side. Okay, so this is the line of math that we end up with. Let me rewrite it. Notice that we have two terms on the right side. Before, when we had a parentheses and we had this times each item, we're going to do the reverse of that. So we're going to take a B out of each of these. That's the step. So you see how we distributed it earlier? We can reverse distribute. That's quote, quote, factor. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ooh. So yeah, that's how this goes down. So once you factor out a B, then you can divide both sides by one minus A, one minus A. And now we've isolated the B. That's the answer. That is B, that is B in terms of A and C. the absolute legends <laughs> so yeah that's how this one goes down that's how this one goes down yeah so yeah it's difficult it's definitely it's definitely difficult but at the same time um we just reverse distribution it's just factoring that's all it is yeah, negative AC over one minus A. Yes, that actually works as well. So if, yep, so Zhao, I'll give it to you there, bro. Uh, Lin, definitely. Um, I'd give that to you guys for sure. So yeah, that's how this one goes down. Redemption, Venna? Me do a redemption. Yeah, Lin, your answer also works. Introvert, yeah, you're good. Yeah. So I could show you and explain what happened in the end. Okay, I can explain what happened in the end. And we can do a redemption, dude. We can do a redemption. All right? So here's what's going on, bros. We did our multiplication, and now we have this distribution opportunity. This A is going to be distributed to the B. This A is also going to be distributed to the C. So check this out. Like, check this out. If I have... This is the same thing as this. A times the quantity of B plus one is the exact same thing as A, B plus A. So we can go back and forth. If we have two terms that have an A in it, we could factor an A out. Likewise, check this out. Okay, so we have a phrase like this, 8x cubed plus x squared plus 4x. We can factor out an x from each of these terms. And it would be 8x squared plus normal x plus 4. They're the same thing. So if all of your terms have a variable in it, you can factor out that variable. Likewise, if you have a variable times multiple terms, you have to get that variable. 
on the multiple terms. So yeah, that's how this works. Um, so just kind of study these examples so you can see it's not one of those things where there's too much more of an explanation I can really give past this. Um, but yeah, that's how this one goes down. Um, dude, are these more GRE problems you're sending, Shad? <laughs> that's what it looks like. All right, dudes, so let's do a redemption. Yeah, or you could substitute Dan's. That's actually really true. You can finesse it by substitution. Okay. All right, let's do a redemption. Let me see. Let me put on some background music while I think of what this problem could be. Because I want it to be hard. I don't want the redemption to just be the same thing. That's not too similar. Let's make it hard though. video so I can get a timer. All right, bros. Minute and a half. AC over A plus one equals BC. What is A in terms of B and C? Redemption time, guys. Oh, where's my redemption music? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. Wait. Wait. Boss music. Now's your time to redeem yourself, bro. <laughs> you can do it. The redemption needs to be real because I want to move on. <laughs> but I believe in you. I believe that you can do it. You just just need to remember to dis distribute and factor properly. Then you can do it. Uh, can we solve a crazy question? Yeah, we can solve a crazy question. Okay. This is redemption. Well, it should give you anxiety. It's redemption time. Okay, so introverts got the first answer. Up in here, BC over 1 minus BC. A equals A plus 1. Okay, so A plus 1. That's dragon. A, uh, BC over 1 minus BC. That is introvert. Got you. BC over C minus BC, so BC over C minus BC, and that's cubing. That might be able to be reduced cubing. Uh, AB plus B. Um, that's Joe. <laughs> that's Joe. Um, Lin. Ooh, retracted. Ming. 
PC minus C minus PC, so that is Zrizzy. AC over CA plus C. Ooh, you might have solved for the wrong things, things out. Um, what was it? CA plus C. Dude, I don't know if the redemption is going to be real today, guys. Leo. April. Yeah, I'm not sure the redemption is going to be real. Oh my gosh, Odd. Dude, you guys are going to need a redemption of the redemption. Bruh. Whoa, BC minus C, Leo. Got you, Leo. Pool. What's up, pool? One over one over BC. C over one over BC, and that's pool. Bro. Uh, Remisa right here, too. Okay. So let's go into this. Let's talk about this. Shout out to everybody who got their answers. You all can see the chat. You can see. Big brains. Uh, let's go into it. Okay. Again, we're just going to try to isolate that A as best as we can. So the first step that we're going to make is we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by the value of A plus 1. And that gets this up out of the denominator. And that's super important. So. Cool. So this is what we're rocking with currently. So now what we need to do is distribute that BC. Okay, so now we're going to try to get all of our A's on one side so that we can isolate them. So I'm going to subtract an ABC from each side. Great. So now we have all the terms with an A on one side. Remember, this is A in terms of B and C. So we're trying to get that A by itself. A. So we're going to factor out an A. That's what this is called. Okay. So now we're going to divide both sides by C minus BC. Okay, so what we end up getting Okay, so a lot of people got that. Let me actually put this over here. Okay, so a lot of people got this, but I want to show you guys one extra step in reducing this. Okay, so check this out. Notice how before, when we had all of our A terms on one side, we can factor out an A. Notice this denominator. Both terms in the denominator have a C. So we can do that. We can work like this, bro. Oh, you were solving for B? Yeah, this is A in terms of B. Cool. So, wouldn't it be negative C? Would it be negative C? No. No, it would not. So, yeah, then we have this C, and this C and this C can cancel out. That's the answer. Did anybody get that? Dude, nobody got that. Uh, <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Oh, the redemption is not real. Oh, dude, that's so rare. I don't even have sad music. I don't even have sad music because the redemption is so often real that I don't need to do sad music. Uh, triple redemption. But dude, I must shout out. I, I, I would be remiss if I did not shout out these guys right here. 
Um, really, really nice job. You guys were one step away. You guys were one step away. Um, so I will go from the top and I will explain this guy uno mas vez for you guys. Um, so guys, here's the first equation without the obvious, the blue markings. So first thing I did to get this a out of the denominator, I multiplied both sides by a plus one that cancels out the denominator here, but then I have BC times a plus one. So that's where we start here. So I distribute the BC. So I get my ABC. That's the first distribution. And then the second distribution to this one, I'm just going to get a BC. So once I have this, I'm going to subtract ABC from both sides so that I can get all the terms with an A on one side. Once I have both terms with an A on one side, I can factor an A out of it and I'm left with C minus BC. I then divided both sides by that value of C minus BC and that's where I end up with this. And that's a great answer, but I showed that it can be simplified even further with another factoring. I made the redemption too hard. I made the redemption too hard. Go ahead, poke. Go ahead, level up, bro. <laughs> you got it, dude. You got it. Uh, so yeah, that's how this goes down. Uh, just a little bit. I know I'd never said to simplify, but yeah, dude, come on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So guys, this is going to be a double redemption. It has to be. It just has to be. Um, let me see if I have any um, pieces of paper because I'm like all out. Oh, here we go. Dude, I have gone through in the past month, I've gone through over 400 pieces of paper with you guys. <laughs> another one all right skills you got it we could do another one all right guys here is a redemption for all of you guys out there i'm gonna put on some elevator music while i think of this problem um okay Okay, cool. So guys, here's your redemption. Um, let me see, can we do a C equals? All right, guys, try hard time. Um, okay. So let me see. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, cool, so check this out. Wait, where's my black pen? bros here is your triple redemption let's get it
Yeah, that is kind of weird, Gameo. Like, there will be people at your specialized high school who are you probably met on this stream first. Cookies are a good idea, Salmon. <laughs> that works all the time, bro. All right, guys, another minute on this one. Yeah, this is going to be on the SAT, SHSAT, guys. You, you got to be, I mean, yes, this is a little bit more difficult than what you normally would see, but this is a third redemption, so I have to make each one harder. <laughs> All right, so we got some answers in from Ming, 3B plus 3BA minus C. Oh, gosh. Wow. 4AC minus 2A plus C all over five, and that's Zeden. Okay, we have four AC plus C all over, oh my gosh, the chat is moving way too fast for how long these answers are. Um, three plus two A, two A, and that's Pew. All right, nice. Um, let's see, three plus two A, oh, same one, huh? Nice, okay, so we got some cosigning going on here. Minty, cosines. Dude, I really I figured out recently you guys are not 100% sure what I mean by cosine. It means like to to double down on somebody else's answer. Um true, got you true killer. Nice dude. Too hard. It is hard. It is hard. I will say that. So we have some minuses up in there. C minus 4ac C minus 4ac over negative 2a minus 3 and that's zao. Um 4ac plus c over 2a. Um, oh my gosh, the chats are moving way too fast for me to catch up. That's Anisha. Uh, cubing got this as well. Uh, no, he got it with a plus. Oh my god, four C plus two A, and that's cubing. Whoa, dude, this was a hard one. I guess I did not realize how hard this is. Maybe. Maybe too hard, maybe too hard actually. Um, so let me go through how to do this. I know there's a lot of answers in the chat that I wasn't able to get through, but uh, I, more importantly, I wanna make sure that we go over it or have time to go over it. Um, sorry, introvert, which <laughs> I missed everybody basically. I only got like five people's answers. So <laughs> for this one, I, I, I can't get everybody. Poke, I see your answer too, bro. So guys, you can just know in your hearts that when you go back to this stream, you guys can look at the chat and you guys can see your answer. Um, we'll go through this, we'll go through this. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna have to do is get all of the Bs to the side, but we're gonna have to distribute what we have. So let me just rewrite this equation with distributing this negative too. So what we get. I forgot to distribute it, so I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so we wanna get B by itself. So we're going to get all the terms with a B on it on the left side. So I'm gonna add two B A to each side. Okay, so if you guys got that, that, you're looking really good. If you're able to get this, you're looking really nice because that means that you're able to move the B over. Uh, April, I see you. Um, so move that B, the terms with the B on the left side. Now we can factor out a B from this term and from this term. That's very similar to dividing, my dudes. Okay. So now to get the B by itself, we're going to divide both sides by these will cancel out. So here's our answer, guys. B equals 4AC plus C over 3 plus 2A. And I know a lot of you got these answers, but we got some absolute legends coming in with the answers first. Really, really nice. Really, really nice. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, so really good job, guys. If you guys got it right, yeah, definitely celebrate. That is hard. That is really, really hard. But dudes, we're going to do one more of these problems just because I want to make sure everybody has this skill absolutely locked down before the test. So check this out. Check this out. All right. All right. So, so there's that. All right. So mm, let's see. <laughs> I will give you one more. I will give you one more gameio. Um, and if you need to explain again, you can always go back in the video. Um, so let me see here. How would this work out? Okay, guys, here it is. You guys can do this, okay? You guys can do this. This is the redemption of a redemption. How many of these are on the test, though? Maybe one or two. <laughs> but the ability to manipulate algebra is going to be super necessary. So I just want to make sure you guys know how to do this. Um, so here's the question. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where, where did I put that? Okay, yeah. Okay, wait, actually, no, this is not hard enough. Hold on. Because I want to give you one that's hard, but not one that's like easy. I don't want to like insult you guys. So hold on. So this will be. Um... Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, yeah. All right, guys, here's your last chance. <laughs> Here is your last chance, okay? All right, last chance. No more chances after this. So, guys, the redemption needs to be real, okay? First answer is coming in. All right, so. All right, guys, 15 more seconds. Dude. Uh... Oh, you didn't, introvert? Sorry. What'd you write? Uh... Okay, dude. All right, we got you, introvert. Okay. 
Okay, cool. Uh, Tejas. Uh, Maruf. Final. Okay. All right, bros. Uh, wait, you guys have a plus A? Is that for is that for real? Did I really miss that? Dude, I'm trying to scroll up, but the chat is so is like blowing up so hard. It's like hard to even scroll up with how many entries are coming in. Ah, uh, scroll, please. <laughs> that is so hard. <laughs> yeah, it won't let me scroll back to see your guys' answers. Uh, this would be algebraic manipulation. Algebraic manipulation. Um, we could do exponent rules after this, yeah. All right, so check this out, guys. Let's go into it. Okay. Are you guys all saying you guys wrote plus and I just, just came across as uh, negative? Because now all I'm seeing is these plus. Minty's been yelling at me. <laughs> oh, it seems like everybody put plus and then I just, for some reason, the chat, dude, I did do slow chat. This is like a six second delay and we're still getting that. So, okay, I guess some people were, I guess I wrote it down wrong. I guess they were the whole time putting one plus A. Okay, so we will be going into this. Yeah, uh, we will be going into this. Okay, so Dan's got this, Venna got this. All right, this is making more sense now. Dan's, Venna, all right. All right, chill. So let's get into this. Yeah, it seems like it just came across as minus while the chat was like scrolling super fast, I guess. All of us were yelling at you. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. So guys, uh, yeah. So let's go into how to do this one. So here's the equation straight up. Whenever we're isolating a variable, this is G in terms of A. Whenever we're isolating that variable, we want to get all the terms with that variable on one side together. So I'm going to I'm going to add a G A over here. I'm going to add a G A over here. So the left side looks like this. Lovely. So now that I have all my G terms on the left side, I can divide out a G. Um, do you guys see the, you can just keep like bleed through. It's just like the back of one of those. So uh, take out a G. Great. And so now to get the G by itself, we're going to divide by one plus A. So what we end up getting. Bang. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that is fun, Poke. <laughs> so that's how this one goes down. Yeah. Dude. Excellent. Excellent. Dude, the redemption's real. The redemption's real, guys. You can't see it, but I'm waving my arms. I'm so excited for you guys. <laughs> All right, I'm doing that. So that's how these go down, guys. Um, hopefully that made some sense. Um, if you guys are, st if you guys still have questions, guys, if you still have questions, that's my email. You can hit me up whenever, whenever, bro. Um, okay. So people are asking about exponent rules, things like that. We can do stuff like that. Okay. All right, we can do exponent stuff. Yeah, that was way easier than the other ones, Ricky. But sometimes the redemption just needs to be real. Do you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> that was too many redemptions, okay? That was too many redemptions. Um, okay, cool. So let's go into exponent work a little bit. Um, nice, Asta Labor. Good to see you. Uh, why did one of the G's turn into a one? Where's my, where'd that work go? Okay. I don't know where that work went. 
I like immediately, as soon as I was done with it, I, I threw it across the room into a pile of math. Okay, here it is. All right, so check it out. Where, why did that G turn into a one? So what we're talking about is this step here. Notice that this term has a G and this term has a G. So I divided a G out of each of them. So it's going to be G plus one plus A because G divided by G is one. G A divided by G is A. And so we're left with that. It's just the opposite, bro. It's just the opposite. These things mean the same thing. G times the quantity of 1 plus A is the same thing as G plus GA. So that's how this goes down. Okay, cool. So you guys were asking for exponent problems. Um, is there another um, type of question that you guys want to work on? We can definitely go into exponent problems. I have some that we can do. Let me just get some soda really quick. Yeah. So is there anything that you guys want to work on? <clears throat> uh, did I remove the hike video? No, I didn't. It shouldn't be removed. It should be there. I think it's just called hike or whatever. Um, yeah. Do a brain reveal. <laughs> Age problems. Where's Venna? <laughs> no, I don't think I did remove my hike video. Let me go check. I don't think I did. Um, Irregular shapes with variables, mm, exponent problems, uh, irregular shapes with variables, slope, age problems, slope again, geometry, geometry. We did probability, I think two days ago, three days ago, irregular shapes. Okay. Slope. Venna. Yeah, I was just waiting for Venna to kick into the chat there. Okay. Um, slope. Okay, cool. Charts and stuff. Okay, so let me do... I'm seeing a lot of people spam geometry. So we can do some geometry, maybe with some variables. Um, that, could, that could be interesting. Um, now I just need to find my ruler. I don't know where my ruler went, guys. Here it is, perfect. Yay, oh, sorry. All right, cool. So, angles and trigonometry, angles. Um, if you're looking for age game stuff, we did a, we've did we done a lot of those throughout the streams. You can kind of skip back from previous streams. Um, ELA, we did ELA at the beginning of the stream, Minty. Uh, and I think we're gonna do some grammar tomorrow. Cubes with angles. <laughs> April, that's actually really true. <laughs> It's like, I know if Venna's in the chat, all I have to do is go, do you guys want to do age games? And then Venna, <laughs> that I know if Venna's there or not. Um, weak point angles. Okay, cool. So yeah, let's, uh, let's go into it. Um, let's see. Slope. People are asking for slope, but that is, if that's for eighth grade, that's a very low probability of being on their slope. So, hold on, we can do that, and then, okay. Okay, cool. So we're going to do something like that. All right, let's do this. Actually, 
Dude, where's that elevator music? I need I need some of this in my life. Alright, so I guess I you guys don't need all of this information here. Alright, cool. So here's the question that I want you guys to answer. You oh, whoops, I just dropped all my pens. Alright, but you guys can get this. Yeah, I can do that, Leo. No problem, bro. Do you guys want some Jonas? No way. <laughs> All right, bros, what's A plus B? <laughs> Dude, thanks, Maroof. Jeez. <laughs> All right, cool. Dude. All right, nice, nice, nice. Dude. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Dude, nobody was tricked. Dude, nobody was tricked. Wow, dude. Dude. <laughs> I thought at least some people would be tricked. Um, okay, so you guys absolutely destroyed this problem. So we're going to talk about how to do it. Uh, we have some more answers coming in, of course. Uh, abstract, Tina, got you. Zrizzy, got you, bro. Abstract, nice. Azam, bro. Zao, nice Zao. That boy, that boy. Got you. Phoenix, I already got you, bro. You're up top here. Okay, cool. So let's go into it. I see a lot of the right answer. So yeah, I, I feel like people crush this. So yeah, this is an example of having to use triangles to your advantage here. So since this is on a straight line, we know that this is going to be 60 because 60 plus 120 is 180. What we're dealing with now with this triangle is an equilateral triangle because all three angles of a triangle have to add up to 180. So that's a 60 right up in there. And then we're back on this. This whole thing has to add up to 180. So that means A plus B is going to be 120. Absolute crush. Um, so maybe a little harder. <laughs> I don't hate you, miscellaneous. I'm sorry. I missed you. Everybody got it right, dude. <laughs> I don't have to tell you, man. Uh, okay. Um, so let's see, what would be much harder? Ooh, maybe a problem like that. So we could do like a... Ooh, that would be good, okay. Uh, is that too easy? Yes, it is. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, this will be much harder. Okay, great. So then that's... All right, cool. So that's what we'll do. All right, great. All right, dude. Dude, sorry, Anisha. No, no, I did put your name down, Anisha. I did get you. Um, somewhere. Yeah, right there. Anisha, got you. Yeah, I do my best to try to get everybody, but it can be hard sometimes. Just a little bit. Actually, you know what? Let me redo this. Okay, cool. So here's the question, bros. All right, so check it out. All right, so we have a parallelogram. I just wanted to label that that was a parallelogram. And what I want to find is that angle measurement right up in there. That's what I want to find. All right, let's go. So you can see it all. Perfect. All right, guys. I see you, Llama. I noticed you. I shine a spotlight onto you, my dude. <laughs> All right, so we're, we're getting some answers in here. So uh, yeah, let's um, let's go into it. So we have bunch of people saying 40 so that was oh what just happened my phone just like die hold on <laughs> hold on one second i feel like my bone my phone could not handle the stream <laughs> uh okay dude i don't that was really weird i, I have no idea all right cool we're, we're back on it so all right sorry i did not look at anybody's answers during that okay so we're getting a bunch of them though um we got 230 who, who said 40 do you guys want to co-sign those answers again um okay so this is chan uh final ali uh then we got 130 gang we got poke and yang um nahar zrizzy um remisa phoenix uh lin um, oh, that was Ali. Got you. Um, Poke. Got you. Rohan. Uh, Leo. Pew Man. Ghost. Um, okay, cool. Chip. 
Macau. Uh, Ghost, did I get you? I got you, bro. Anisha. What did you put, Anisha? That went by way too fast. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Animation space. Dude, I can't even read all of these. It's too fast. Animation. Dude, I gotta get like slow chat on for real. I can't see anything. Gameo. Zhao. Uh, Cheetah. Venna. Venna got 170. Got you, Venna. All right, cool. Uh, 130 for prominent. He got caught in the filter. I don't know why it catches some and not all. That's uh, really weird, actually. Uh, Gliz. Got you. Tina. All right. Cool. So, bros. Azam. All right, dude. We got Sing. Ma. Dude, we got a lot of interesting answers. Kind of a split here. Um, but I guess we'll see. Tejas. I guess we'll see how this works out. Um, Tina. Let me get you. Okay, cool. Prominent. I think I already got you prominent, but I want to make sure. Prominent. All right. So, guys, let's go into it. Ethan. Oh, yeah, I can't forget. Llama got 10. Got you, Llama. See? See? I see you, bro. Uh, Leo, I think I already got you, Leo. All right. So, Uden. All right. So, a lot of people go into that 130 number. I wonder if that's what it is. So, guys, this is a breakdown of a couple different skills that you kind of have to be at least decently comfortable with in order to crush the geometry on the SHSAT. So, let's go into it. Keep in mind that really quickly before I go into it, things that look complex, a lot of the times they're just a bunch of very simple concepts added on top of each other. So, if you see this and it blows your mind, Realize if you break it into smaller chunks, it's easier to handle. So work your way backwards. We need A. Well, we know that's 90 degrees right here. So in order, in order to get what A is, we need to find out what this angle is in here. And since it's a parallelogram, we know this angle plus this angle will equal 180. So that helps. But we don't know what this angle is. To solve for this angle right here, we're going to need to find this angle, and this is where we can start the problem. This is a four-sided shape. Two of these are 90 degrees. So that means between these two angles, it needs to add up to 180 degrees because all four angles need to add up to 360 degrees. So 360 minus 90 minus 90 minus 40, we're left with 140. So now that we have this angle here, we know that these two need to add up to 180. So that's 40 right here. We know that this angle and this angle need to add up to 180 because it's a parallelogram. That's like a skill you should probably lock away is that any two angles in a parallelogram that are next to each other, either those two or these two, have to add up to 180. So we know this is 140 up in here, and we know that this is going to be 140 up in here. So this is a full circle. In order to solve this, we need to figure out what A is. And all three of these angles are going to add up to 360 degrees. Look, I can draw a beautiful, perfect circle around it. And circles, yeah, are 360 degrees. So yeah, let's go into it. Yeah, I could have done 180 minus 40. That's true. That's true. So we know it's going to be 360 minus 90. That's going to be 270. Then minus 140. One, there, absolutely beautiful. Wow. Wow. Well done, bros. Really, really well done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how this one goes down, guys. Uh, that's how to do this one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, you did your math wrong. Venna! Venna! <laughs> Come on. Don't make careless mistakes. I guess that should be a good time for me to... Speaking of careless mistakes, this is like the perfect time to... Where is it? Where is it? You guys told me... Ah, oh, here it is. This would be the perfect time to shill DeepMind. Guys, DeepMind. If you guys are looking to work on your precision, I guess it's under tylertutor.com. Go to Deep Mine. I spent way too much time making this game. 
so <laughs> so that's why i'm shilling it so hard um but yeah you can check out dmine you can also check out the diagnostic i got on there dude i've had over in the past week i've had over 200 people take that diagnostic insane diagnostic so take the diagnostic on the site if you're curious how you did it's going to be one third the length of a test um oh you wrote 10 i got 130 oh sorry llama <laughs> I thought you said Ted, dude. <laughs> dude, thanks, Adisha. So yeah, this is the dude. This is this is the iconic ending only because I have two more tutoring sessions tonight. It's obviously a busy week for everybody. Um, so dude, I, I also kind of wanted to slow into an easy ending here, just because, guys. I want you guys to realize that you guys can do this test. Everybody is in the same position as you. Everybody who's going to have to take this test is going to have to take it. And you're going to be in a room with the test and you. That's what it's about, guys. Don't worry about other people. Don't worry about an expectation of a score you need. Just focus on what's in front of you, bro. Just small bites. If it's a math problem, make sure you're precise, you know? So I recommend playing DeepMind because that's all about precision. It's not that the problems are super hard, but you just have to be on your game for every single one of them. So yeah, that's that's how this goes down. And that that's would be my biggest tip, Anisha, is yeah. Oh yeah, the music. All right, well, this is not the, the outro music. This is just a bump music while I talk to you guys. So yeah, as far as words of inspiration, that's what I would say, is that realize that this is like you climbing a mountain. It's not a race against other people because everybody gets pretty much enough time to climb the mountain, but it's about who does it the best. So just make sure that you stay on top of it. Abstract to avoid silly mistakes. Play DeepMind <laughs> on my website, play DeepMind, because you're the only person that can stop silly mistakes. Like I've always told my students like this with silly quote, quote, silly mistakes. Like imagine that you're a mechanic for an airplane and you're like, you're like tightening the screws or the bolts or whatever, but you oopsie made a silly mistake. I forgot to tighten half of the bolts. That's a huge deal. Like in the real world, mistakes like that aren't silly. They're very monumental. And for example, if you thought you needed 10 bolts instead of 100 because you forgot to multiply by 10 or whatever, that's a huge deal and that airplane is no longer to be safe. So it's not as much a silly mistake as it is like a very serious mistake. There are no real quote quote silly mistakes. There's only very small mistakes and very big mistakes, but they're all mistakes. So it doesn't matter if you're like really legit and you can do the Pythagorean theorem and the quadratic formula and all these fancy things. If you mess up the multiplication or addition, that's a mistake. So take nothing for granted. Check your work. Even if you, you're like, oh no, I crushed that. I don't need to check it. Go back and check it. Why not? So that's what I would definitely recommend as far as like how to like crush the SHSAT. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. So bros, we got two more streams more times on a problem at the end if you don't need to check like if you did 40 minutes of math quickly um i am a big fan of checking as i go just because then i'm more familiar with the problem when i come back to check it but some people prefer going back and checking it uh yeah i can give you a key card sorry just email me dude what a time to be a live shot <laughs> yeah uh, actually, I have a diagonals of 3D shapes on my website, Anna Ket. Go to tylertutor.com slash math and the very last thing you can do. Yeah. So actually, yeah, I probably should say that too. If you go to tylertutor.com slash math, that's where all of my math work is. And you guys can practice and study for free. Uh, you guys got it. Uh, guess and check. Yeah, that helps too, man. That definitely helps. So yeah, dude, you're playing DeepMind? Dude, nice, Anisha. If you get to the end, tell me and I'll put your name on the banner. Yeah. Oh, dude, thanks, Final. Appreciate that, bro. All right, dude, so yeah, I do have to get going. So, two more streams. 
on Friday. I'm just giving you a heads up. I disappear Friday night. So if you have any questions tomorrow or the day after, you can ask me. But then I completely disappear from the face of the earth <laughs> for a week. And then we're going to be coming back and doing SAT stuff. So definitely be on the lookout for that. All right, bros. Good stuff. If you have any questions about what we did on the stream today, you can hit me up via email. I've been getting way too many emails, but I don't care. I've been answering all of them. So if you guys have any questions, hit me up. All right. I'm out of here. See ya.